with the kids, and a lot of this stuff you're going to be happy with because it's all natural. It is. So all, it's completely all natural, and it's so easy, and it's all made with things that I found in my cupboard at home. Good so stuff. So very, very easy. So I thought, you know, we do a lot of paint stuff normally, but these are the five recipes that I found that are so easy to do and to get the kids involved, too, I think more importantly, because right. part of it is making the paint. It's not actually painting. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the fringe benefit to the, all of these projects. It makes the whole process longer. Exactly. And then you spent more time exactly. doing an activity. So the first one that I found online, I found it on Pinterest. I have to love Pinterest. Yeah. Um, I'm calling it, I renamed it. This was just an easy puff paint recipe. Uh -huh. Recipe. I'm calling this pancake puff paint because okay. basically as I was making it, I was like, do I put this on a griddle? Because basically <laughs> what you're going to do is start with two cups of flour. You're going to have um, two tablespoons of baking powder yeah. and two tablespoons of salt. So I was like, yeah, this is so like we're making pancakes. Totally. You're just going to add water just to get it into like that battery consistency. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a quick stir. And then once this is all mixed together in a pretty smooth consistency, you can separate it into about six different Ziploc baggies. So this cool. is a fun part too because what you can do put the batter in clean and then put a few drops of food coloring in seal it up and the kids have such a good time like squishing it, it around to work the color and so again yeah. like we're maximizing the length of this project mm -hmm. if you see where I'm going That's like right. eating Keep mixing it and like Mix some you more. can do that while you're mixing a little cocktail on right. the side maybe. <laughs> so the idea with this is then you just turn this give it a little squeeze we're going to snip the edge now when you're working with a medium in terms of paper it's best to actually work with something a little more heavy duty so I just have some cut Bristol board right. and you can make like your own little swirly oh, patterns cool. but wait it gets better this isn't even the magic part I made this one with my boys on the weekend you put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and you can watch it go Ooh, and it puffs up oh that's cool right it's kind of fun You can like it, and you, there's no issues, right? Because it's all natural. We get it all the time from parents, though, because you know the kids they're playing, and then they put the hand, their their exactly. hands in their face, so it's nice that it's all natural. Exactly. We're well, not saying go eat it, but if they do put it in their mouth, it's not a big deal. And that's the beauty of non-toxic school glue, because how yes. many of us <laughs> ate that stuff when we were a kid? But it is Pounds not toxic. It. So this is the beauty of the next project. Okay. We are using something that smells and tastes wonderful, but we are adding school glue, so caution with that. Right. You're just basically going to dilute um, a Jello mixture with this. Okay. So. I've just added some jello crystals and some warm water. They haven't totally dissolved, but that's actually okay. You okay. don't want them to fully dissolve. You're then going to add about a tablespoon of school glue. And of course, I picked up the one that wasn't open. So I'm going <laughs> to eyeball this here. So this is going to be your binder, what's going to get it to stick to the paper. You work that in. And then if you're picking up what I'm putting down here, you can paint with this. It smells very good. It it's smells great. very good. And mm. if now, instead of just painting paper, if you paint some labels. You painted that I with painted this. these little labels. and you can see the little dots on there, scratch and sniff. You've just made scratch oh. and sniff Snickers. Mm. Simple, easy. Mm. Mm. Again, you could do a little like taste test. You can lick it. From there. So That's this great. next one is really fun and easy. You're just going to pick up yourself some squeeze containers. Yeah. Put in about six tablespoons of water into one of them. Use um, a, an unflavored gelatin pack, just a single pack and okay. some jello. You basically just shake this up, mix it around as if you're making jello. Put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. If you forget it in the fridge, that's fine. Like mm -hmm. I forgot this jello in my car last night and it was really hard. <laughs> you can just put it in some hot water and okay. loosen it up again. I'll be honest, this is a little too loose from what you want. Okay. But the beauty with this is you you can now paint yourself some designs. Oh, nice. But you let this go for a little bit, mixing your colors. You come back 10 minutes later and your snack's ready. You eat your art. Oh, right? it's this is we're actually going to eat this. Yes, you can totally eat it. Oh, no, mine's not mine's not juicy enough. There you go. Edible so jello art. So you can make art. like some fun, make your own this like gummy awesome. worms at home, paint your own Picasso, and then peel it, it off the plate and shove it in your face. Oh, after. what a great, Delicious. such a great uh, activity for the kids. No, I love watercolor. That yeah. just happens to be like a medium of choice that I love. I've got a couple little paintbrushes here. So I wanted to figure out how to make my own watercolor. Super easy. Yeah. Um, I used one teaspoon of cornstarch, um, one teaspoon of water, and half uh, a teaspoon. I'm just going to add this in of some milk. Oops, a little more, teeny, but that's tiny okay. Little. And then pick any food coloring of your choice. I'll put a couple of red dabs in. Now, the nice thing about this is it's, again, easy to work with for the kids. It makes small little batches, so you can save them in these cute, like, little dollar store containers. They keep really well. Yeah. But you want to know what I like these more for? What? 
body paint. Oh. You can these can go direct on the skin. They stay on really, really well and they wash off really well. So it's nice and safe if you're gonna do I a little you're carnival putting it on at your home. Face. Well we could. Do we go there? <laughs> I love it. But it's a nice rich color and washes off really easy. And when you need to wash it off, that's fun for the you kids. need some paint for the bathtub. Okay, so how does so this stuff work? This is super easy. I've just taken a can of shaving cream. Yeah. So fill a muffin tin up that you can take up to the bathtub. Right. Fill them full, and I'm gonna start putting some drops in. You can actually stir for me. Work oh, some sure. of the uh, the colors in here. These are all neon food coloring colors. Oh, cool. And this now, once uh, we need some a little more action happening here. You work them in really well. This they can sit on on the inside of the white bathtub. Yeah. They can make that their artist palette and just oh. sit in there and dab and That's then it a great washes idea. right yeah. away. And honestly, I put the toilet seat down, sit up there, read a good read a book, book, and the kids are in there for an hour. Yes, I don't fantastic. know about your kids. My kids do 45 minute baths. Oh, they sure. never want to come for out. Sure. It's so a this thing. is perfect. It's a thing, yes. Okay, well, yard art uh, is for use on everything as well. You can use it on grass, asphalt, windows, wood, and more with endless creative exactly. possibilities. You just spray, play, wash, wash away. It away.